These three guys are very puzzled by a burnt-out car that's on the edge of a grass fire, part of the terrible wildfires in Maui. How, they ask, can a grass fire, one that didn't even really reach the car, create such damage, melting metal, shattering windows, and basically destroying the car? This is Star Wars level Like the stuff. Death Star, like, pointed Correct. its gun at us and... Correct. This is, this is, and this is, like, legitimate scientists. They're yeah. telling me, Eric, tell me if these photos and these images I'm seeing are real, because I don't think they can be, because it breaks science. And yeah, it's, it's like the... that's never been, that they don't understand. Yeah, definitely like the Death Star pointed its little gun at this thing. The conclusion they reach is that this is something new to their understanding of physics possibly a directed energy weapon zapping the car from space as part of an evil plot by real estate developers driving folks out of Lahaina. The answer is actually really simple. It's not a grass fire. It's a car fire. A wildfire doesn't burn things. It sets things on fire, and then those things burn. There were very high winds, and lots of flying embers and firebrands. Once ignited, a car burns perfectly fine by itself, especially in high winds. And this is just what the results look like. The seats, the tires, the plastic trim, the floor mats, any junk in the car, the motor oil, and the gasoline, they all burn. Aluminum melts. And if there's enough heat and oxygen, aluminum burns, turning to aluminum oxide ash. Braided copper wire, like in the jumper cables, will melt and oxidize. Glass shatters from thermal expansion. The steel remains. The frame, the paneling, the engine, and the steel braiding in the tires. None of this is new. The directed energy weapon nonsense has been knocking around since the 9-11 conspiracy days over 10 years ago. Just like then, the way to debunk it is to note that the car itself is burning. It does not need to be set in the middle of a raging fire, or to be zapped by an energy beam from space. Cars burn by themselves, and there are lots of examples, both in wildfires and just in normal life. Just do a Google image search for burnt out car. In summary, it's a car fire, not a grass fire. Cars burn hot, they burn completely, and things melt. This is a low-effort recycled myth. Don't give it any more oxygen.